Hi everyone, my name's Julie and welcome to my channel. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to do this. Um, it's called the Beautiful Affinity Box and I'm going to show you actually how to make that one. Because you can make one box, two boxes or you can do them in all different shapes. Um, I think you'll probably find some inspiration on um, what the design team done um, on there we go look you can you can make it into a star shape and some other little bits down the side there what the design team done so take a look on um tonic studios um actual website and there um you should find some inspiration on there um so here's the die set and as usual you get the base die the matte and layer dies and your pattern dies to put in and also inside there is instructions so what I've done is I've um, cut all my pieces out but I wanted to show you something first and I've let me um, bring that closer I've actually marked you see where I've put those dashes in along there um, they're embossed lines and that's where you take your glue up to now what I do I actually score mine so I know so I can see it when I come to glue it on so if I bring that up which is this bit here I've, I've scored along there so I can see it so that I know that I only put my glue up to that bit there and I have put red liner tape but I wouldn't normally do that I would use wet glue because don't forget this is going to be unrolled um, when somebody opens it um, so that's what I do I score mine and then when you put these two pieces together like that you are going to take it up to the next score line which is which is um that one just there, let me show you with a pencil, which is this one here. So they're going to come up to that score line. So you have got that little bit of movement in there to make it go round because, like a lot of you, I've done the same mistake and I put it right up to that score line and I'll show you. Let me see if I can find it. That's my next one I done, and this is what this is the first one I done, and I ended up with that, which I think which a lot of you are having problems with. You you end up with that if you put if you don't give these enough um, wriggle room, and I put it right I put it up right up to the score line, and I, I thought oh that's, that is not how it looks in the picture, so. And it does tell you that in the instructions um, as well. Um, uh, where, hang on, I'll put my glasses on. Let me see. I can remember reading it. Yeah, um, using the provided dotted line glue marker. So that is where that line is, that is your glue marker. So don't put your glue over that marker. Right, let's see. So it tells you in the instructions to have them in a row like this, and I've already started. So I'm just going to take my tape off here and you can see I have put a lot of pencil line in so that 
that's just for this video really just so that you could see and then I thought about I cut out another one and as I cut out one the casing on my machine split so I think I've got to get a new well I've got a spare one but I don't like using it I don't like it and um, it's a well known brand but I'm sorry I don't like it too much pressure <laughs> right and I've okay I'll just cut that one off because I need to cut I need to um, cut that off anyway <sighs> I thought I had them in um, line in sequence that they needed to go that is um, what you need like um, both tabs on on the last one if you want to do a different um, closure but if you want to do so that it comes to the top and it comes over like that you only need the one on this end I'll try and bend that out the way and um, the next part is when you start making up your box it's a fiddly bit so I'm going to bring that forwards and start taking off the tape As I said, I did, I did glue this first on my on my one, and it would, I think it would be better if you glued it. So I like to do this um, that one first to get that little piece in, and that's just a like a reinforcement on that side to put these ones in. Oh heck. Oh, that wind's cold. And some of you have got snow in the UK today as well, haven't you? Oh. We've been lucky where I am because um we're right in the southeast corner and um, we haven't had any we've had um, like sleety and a bit in with the rain but nothing nothing to lay or anything like that well where I am anyway I'm going to take all of these So I hope that explains enough um, because like everybody else that's what I did um, first and I thought oh and then not and of course it's it's quite disheartening because you've you've if you've done it like I did I, I cut out all the panels and everything and then, and then to put it all together and and um, it doesn't work and think, well how can I fix it now and I thought no you can't really fix it you've got to start all over again well I don't think there was a way I think that's why that one, that first one, I, I you, the back is a bit rough because I, I started pulling and pulling it about, <laughs> like you do. So now you are going to bring that up to that score line now, to that one there, and then that should come over and shut like that. All right, so you're going to do that all the way along. I'm just going to pull that down, so we're going to do the next one. That's the secret, is not to put your...
glue to near the edge. Tuck that little flap in. That little glue tab. Oh, and I had a flare up yesterday as well. I don't know if it's because I was prepping for this or not, I don't know, but oh, my hands just, well, they're still a bit swollen today, but. Up they went, never mind. Should put my glasses on, that might, might make a little bit more so I can see it. This is why I chose some pattern paper because it does make life a little bit quicker. <laughs> now I suspect if um if a lot of you have done this, you know how to put the rest of it together. There you go. So. If you see, you are left with that little bit of gap. Can you see? So it comes to together nicely. And you can see where I've um, put those pencil lines in and I've scored it just to... But, having said that, if you look on this one, if you look closely enough, you can't... If you cut one out yourself, you don't have to score it if you don't want to because you can see because if I just mark it with the pencil you can see that line because I, I was looking at it last night there it is again just along there so you don't have to score it if you don't want to and just leave you one score line that you do need to fold up to so you can do that Have a go and see and see what you think. I'm full stuff myself. It is funny, isn't it? You, I was holding um, like scissors in me and trying to hold the scissors and hold the tape at the same time. What's um, what's cutting the tape? And this probably, like I said, it probably would be done with wet glue because whoever you're doing it for, they're going to um, undo it and then want to roll it up and it's going to get um, handled a bit in the... I think um, you do need to have a little, if you get new dyes and you're not sure, I think it, um, you do need to have a little play first, don't you, just to see how everything goes together. Because um, before I do a video, I usually um, do practice first and then um, and I'll I keep an eye on social media and then if I have bought the dice myself I will 
trying it up if I can. If it's some, you know, something somebody gets stuck on something. This, this bit here um, people were getting stuck on Once you've um, got them all glued together, it doesn't take long, does it? And because on those instructions, I didn't even know, on those instructions, um, I didn't know there was two ways to um, actually close it. But, um, Call it super sticky stuff for nothing, do they? <laughs> but the only trouble is, it <laughs> if it gets too hot and you stuck it onto your card, it, it dries out, doesn't it? But your glue won't because it'll soak into your card. But <laughs> once it's there, it's there <laughs> for a while, anyway. <laughs> but it is quicker than um, doing wet glue. Let's just push that down. that's too confusing to have two score lines where you've got as I say don't um, don't do a score where where that dashy bit is just um, mark it with a pencil if you want to on the other side and then because um, you can see it you probably can't see it on my camera but when you do it yourself you'll see it that's that one I need to take it up to this one's trying to stick itself onto something. Come on. I've got the whole lot there. Yeah, I have. I should have said you need six of those to make that box. 
if I didn't say, I can't remember what I said. Oh, I'm getting old. I'll just take that one off as well, it's easier, isn't it, to take off. Right. I'm, I'm, when I'm crafting, you know, I'm sitting here, I'm, I'm on my up by the dogs with me, but I'm sitting here and I'm always talking to myself. I don't know if anybody asked, <laughs> does it or not. Yeah. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Oh, and I don't know if any of you've watched my first video, but oh dear, oh dear, um, it was nerve wracking. Oh, I can't tell you how nerve wracking it was. But I'm fine with it now, but oh. <laughs> Let's just say it was not good. <laughs> right. Let's see if it works, shall we, in a minute? Should do. down there and I'll get in your place that's it so this last one needs to come up to there and that one needs to come into there so oh so if I turn that round in a minute Move that out of the way. If I turn that round, tap, put the glasses up, and so you can see those little gaps. You see? So when you fold these down, there you go. It all goes round like that. And then that bit is for this bit here. Um, looking for tape. Shall we try tape? Uh, we'll, put, we'll cover it in tape, shall we? <laughs> because I think I glued mine I would use wet glue for this as well because that this is going to be your closure so um, I might put some around the top or put a bit of um, we might put a bit of tape on actually this is what I was doing last night and I got me kept my fingers in the scissors uh, I'm trying to move the the thing out round with one hand and then trying to cut and oh dear me well not last night it was yesterday afternoon but because like the um, days are quite short isn't they it was alright yesterday because um, the sun was out but when the sun's not shining it gets dark quick, doesn't it? Oh, don't like it. Mind you, 
It's getting lighter in the mornings and, um, a bit earlier now. Not a lot, but a little bit. But, um, yeah, not good. And um, I've got a daylight bulb, but I've tried it with a video and um, I need a proper light really. Um, and it makes all lines on the desk and it, it don't look right. So I tend to do these in um, daytime now and you should have, you've got this two, um, you've got that die there and it cuts out these little things here. So, which is my good side and which is, that's it. So you're going to glue it to, together so it sits like that. So we're just... I think I might do that first actually before we go any further. Oh, and oh dear, oh dear! I've got the die set out to <laughs> to um, do this, and um, I've lost the die, haven't I? Well, I've had all my um, places where I keep my dies. Add those all out, see whether it's fallen out, and oh, look behind cupboards, pulled everything out, and you know, underneath my desk, I've got like a little um, blue unit in one of the shelves and um, I have a drawer open all the time because it's got spare glue in it and alcohol pens and things that I might need nearer to me and um, the die had actually fallen, unbeknown to me, it had fallen in there from the last time I'd, I'd um, used it and um, it was the last place I looked. Isn't that always the way? The last place you look and you find the thing you're looking for. Oh. I think, I thought, oh no, what sh you know, what shall I do? I thought, no, it's going to be alright because I'm not going to use any detailed dies anyway. <laughs> but then it worries you because you've, let's face it, they're not, they're not cheap when they first come out, are they? These things, these craft things we all like to have and it's a hobby and I hate it when I lose something. I should have put some um, more tape on this. I didn't lose it because I, I like to keep mine in the packaging because um, it's got an inspiration on there. And also, if you, I don't sell mine, but if you did, then people know that it's the original thing, don't they? Um, right. I'm gonna, I am going to put some glue on this now. Just I'll take that other bit of glue off on that um, other piece as well. It should hold it. Get off. side I'm hoping that's going to give me a bit of wriggle room so I can match it up 
of course when you are using wet glue you will have a bit of wriggle room no that's not too bad there you go so that makes that like that so when that comes round that come over there and then we need to put this on now which I think we'll do the same thing we'll put a little bit of tape over and the middle and then we'll go around with glue Sorry. <laughs> now I've popped it through there, so now you can just press down so you get it to go where you want it to go, hopefully. There. Is it going to hold? No, it's not. because I put the wet glue on. Let's have another look. Take it off. That's all right. There you go. So you can you can put ribbon through there to hold your box together. And if you if you want it tight, I suppose you can push it along a bit. Yeah. Okay, I hope that solved a problem for you. Um, and that's my trick of doing it. And like I say, it does show you in the instructions, but sometimes it's always better if you can watch somebody doing it. Yep. Alright, and I'll see you again soon. Hopefully, with some handbags. And I'll see you again real soon. Bye bye for now.